Carolyn Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and this is Daily Motivational Project um, Die Cut Thursday. Uh, now the challenge here is to create a project um, using electronic die cut machines or if you have your cut -a bug or your Big Shot and your metal dies. So I put some stuff together and um, we're going to do a little St. Patrick's Day card. Now St. Patrick's Day isn't a huge holiday for card giving, but my mom always likes to get cards, so I'm going to send this one to her. Now, um, this here is just a cream colored cardstock, and I bought a whole stack of this at uh, Staples. So it's just, you know, the A2 size here. And this is out of my scraps, and um, I'm not really sure what name brand it is, but it's real pretty. I like the flowers on the other side, but we're going to we're going to do the the plaid. And I'm just putting glue on the very edge so that it stays down on my card base. And I'm going to stop a minute here and show you this is the die that I used. And this is the Spellbinders. And it measures inside at three and three quarters by five. And you could do uh, multiple layers with this, and then this one here too. But this, you can do multiple la layers with that die. Okay, then the next die cut I used, um, of course, Cricut and um, Silhouette are the two machines I have. And there's tons of um, clovers that you can cut off of there. But um, I went ahead to, it chose my um, Spellbinder dies. And what I did was I took these two here and I cut the big one out in black and then the smaller one in some glitter green paper from coordinations and the black is recollections I felt like it just needed a little bit of a base behind it now this here is an image from silhouette and I, I cut out too just to show you um, I used my green sketch pen and um, it's cut at two and three quarters. And I will leave the image number on there for you because I don't remember what it is. And what I did basically is I cut it out again, or um, yeah, cut it out per se, and I used the black sketch pen, and then I went ahead and colored in with my memory marker. Hope your day is full of luck. And then I used um, the memory marker leaf for the luck word, and I think this is looking for a limo black and I have a nice collection of these um, and I forget about using those now this looks awfully plain here so I went through my stamps and I found this heart here and I'm gonna make a four-leaf clover out of this heart but I need to mask around the words so I'm gonna cover up those words there and my leaf, my leaf may end up um, Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, I'll figure something out. So anyway, we're gonna put this down at the bottom. I, I, I see now what I did wrong. Um, I'm gonna put this down at the bottom and I'm not gonna glue that on because I'm actually gonna wanna fix that clover situation there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And get my glue. and get that in the middle as best I can. I'm not going to push down real hard on it and try to go as quickly as I can because I want this to be in the middle. And also not to go over. 
the edge so it'll fit in the card, I mean in the envelope. Now I did a YouTube video and I um, posted something on my blog about how it would be uh, really fun if you all would participate in these um, daily motivational projects. Um, I know how busy everybody is, so um, just you know, do what you can on the days that you can and we can share your projects and get inspired by it. That's what it's all about. And we'll put the green glitter on. I love that green against the black. So um, I'll go ahead and fix that little faux pas on my sentiment tag. And I'll take a picture of it and put it on my blog so you can see what's I finished, how I finished it. I'm going to take a button and it's got to be the right color of green. Aren't these great buttons? Just collected them over the years. It's okay, Goonie. I don't really have a green green button. Well, I don't know, maybe I won't do a button. It's not really the right color. Oh, that'll be okay. My poor um, white miniature Schnauzer Gunther, he has a genetic disorder where his teeth um, rot and fall out of his mouth. It's crazy. So we went yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I'm using track of time, maybe it was two days ago. And, um, he had to have 10 teeth pulled, but he's got plenty of teeth left. I didn't realize how much teeth dog, how many teeth dogs have. All right, so I'm going to get out my little bow maker and I'm going to put a little bow right there. Now this is like a uh, rainbow twine, but um, I wanted to get, you know, some yellow in there. So I kind of moved it down a little bit. I got it backwards. That's okay. okay, here we go. And then I'll go ahead and cut it off, but I'll use the rest of this twine. It's not a problem. Get the scissors here. It's got to be a small tail. I tell you, this bow maker has saved me. Let's get another blue dot. And we'll put that there. So, like I said, I will. Um, Go ahead and fix this so this goes out that way a little bit. And I'm going to put that right there. And then that's my little St. Patrick's Day card. Oh, I meant to say, I also used this um, corner rounder. This is a little Marvy one. I do have a um, We Are Memory Keepers one, but for something like this, it's, it's simple just to go ahead and put that on there. All right, so thanks so much for watching and joining me on the DMP for today. Have a great day.